Imagine a weapon so powerful nothing can stand in its ways. A weapon fueled by horrible deeds. The Morgan. A dreadful sword which can reach an unimaginable 5 million damage. This sword is added by the magic mod Mahotsuke. And I will show you each step from the basics up to the fully maxed Morgan. Let the magic begin. First off, you should check your keybinds for Dra Majojin and set it to a key with no conflicts. This keybind allows you to create a blood circle on the ground which you need for your spells. There are two ways to get blood, either by getting attacked or using a dagger. When you right click with the dagger in your hand, you're going to get the effect bleeding, which enables you to create a blood circle. Additionally to the circle, you will also need catalysts. These are powdered variants of different resources like iron, diamonds or emeralds. They can be created by combining a hammer with said resources. Lastly, we are going to need mana. At the start, you will only have a maximum cap of 100 mana. This cap increases by 1 every time you use up 100 mana. The maximum cap can also be indirectly increased through attuned emeralds and diamonds which can store 5,000 and 10,000 mana respectively. When you use up your mana, it passively refills. However, this can also be sped up for different spells and mana generators. There are two typical approaches to mana generators. The first option is based on the spell Boundary of Life Drain. This spell drains the life of every entity in a 10 block radius. Each tick drains one heart and turns it into health, food and mana in that order. This spell is then normally placed next to a spawner of your choice to continuously turn life into mana. This system can be improved by adding more life drain spells or by increasing the mobs in the radius. The second option is based on the spell Durability Exchange. This spell can be placed on the ground but more importantly on a chest. It will then convert the durability of the items in the chest into mana. The maximum per spell is 10 mana per second. One way to automate this is by using an auto crafting system which creates an unlimited amount of stone shovels. One option for such an auto crafting system can be the Eye of Tools Crafter, which just needs an energy source, a pipe and a chest in which we are going to place our shovels. When you have accumulated about 15,000 mana, you are ready for the first step in making the Morgan which is actually making another sword first, called the Caliburn, which we will later transform into the Morgan. To create a Caliburn, you need to use the spell Ritual of Power Consolidation, which creates a gigantic 19 by 19 block wide and 9 blocks deep murky lake. This spell needs about 10,000 mana, so one full attuned diamond. This lake transforms any enchanted sword which gets thrown into it into a Calibur. This process will cost 5000 mana. After throwing in the sword, we can find the finished Calibur stuck at the bottom of the lake. The Calibur's potential damage is calculated through the base damage of the sword used, plus the additional damage of the enchantments. The best enchantment is Smite 5. That way, if we enchant a diamond sword with a base damage of 7 with Smite 5 and throw it into the lake, we are going to get a Calibur with a damage of 10. This can be repeated by re-enchanting the Caliborn with Smite and throwing it back into the lake, increasing the damage by 3 each time. Theoretically, we could now transform the Caliborn into a Morgan, but I wouldn't do that, since first we need to talk about the damage cap of the Caliborn and the Morgan. In Order Mods 9, the default cap will be 100 attack damage, which is shown for the innate cap value. But as seen in the introduction, the maximum cap we can reach is 5 million attack damage. Also, this cap can only be increased while the sword is still a Caliborn. To increase this cap, you have to throw in Ender Upgrade Orbs before throwing in your Enchanted Sword or Enchanted Caliborn. One orb will increase your cap by 50. However, this process isn't additive, meaning if you throw in the Caliborn, which has now a cap of 150, with one orb again, nothing is going to change. Because of that, we should add as many orbs during the first cap increase. To reach the 5 million damage cap, you're going to need to throw in 83 Ender Upgrade Orbs. 
and the upgrade orbs are crafted by combining 8 ender runes with one empty upgrade orb. To make ender runes, you have to combine 8 ender pearls with one blank runestone. This runestone drops from the dead king, a mob added by irons, spells and spellbooks. The king is a boss mob that can be found in the catacombs, a newly generated dungeon which can be most easily found through the structure compass. However, since we're going to need 664 runestones in total, I would recommend you to make an automated farm for the dead king. For that you can either use the mob swaps, here make sure that you use it on the inactive dead king to get the right DNA, to later get yourself a spawn egg and through that a dead king spawner. Alternatively, you can also fully automate the dead king by capturing it in a containment jar and then farm it through Drigmies. Should you do this, make sure that the dead king is fully woken up before containing him. If you're interested in how Drigmies work, you can check my video in the description or on the top right. The second material, empty upgrade orbs, are crafted out of 4 arcane ingots, 4 cinder essence and 1 arcane salvage. To make arcane ingots, you need to combine 1 copper, iron or gold ingot with 8 arcane essences, which drop from the iron spells and spellbooks mobs. The dead king will give you the most arcane essence though. The cinder essence drops from the ancient knight mob, which can be found in the forgotten battlegrounds in the nether. To make the ancient knights spawn, you have to destroy these armor piles with at least a diamond pickaxe. To find the structure, a structure compass is again highly recommended. Similarly to the dead king, I would also recommend you to make a mob farm for the ancient knight, since we will need 322 cinder essences. And lastly, arcane salvage is produced by blasting arcane debris which can be found in the overworld under a Y level of minus 38. And here you have the full recipe list for 83 ender upgrade orbs. When we have our 83 orbs, we are ready to make our max calibre. When you do this, make sure that you drag the orbs out of your inventory instead of using the throw keybind, otherwise the increase might fail. The next step is to transform our Caliborn into the Morgan. And for that we need to kill a Warden with the Caliborn. Wardens can be found in the deep dark biome and they get summoned through Skulk Shriekers after they shriek 4 times. But be careful, Wardens can be quite powerful, so make sure that your Caliborn is strong enough and that you're equipped with some good enchanted armor. And we did it. With that we have our Max Cap Morgan. Just, it still only does a small amount of damage. Not even close to the 5 million. For that the Morgan needs to be strengthened. And this works by killing villagers and villager babies. Each villager will increase the damage by 0.2 and each killed baby villager by 1. But this increase will only happen if you have 400 mana available per increase. To give you an example, if you want to kill 5 baby villagers, you need 2000 mana to get your damage increase of 5. Sadly, there is no known way to fully automate the Morgan leveling. A typical approach most people choose instead is to create a villager spawner and then use an auto clicker to continuously kill the villagers while being AFK. To hit multiple villagers at the same time, aim at the block while attacking to use sweep attacks. An alternative I like to use are the breeders from the easy villagers mod. The breeders need two villagers and a food source like bread and can then continually produce baby villagers. They can then be spawned quickly through a modular router using an activator module for a more burst-like strengthening experience. Whatever way you choose, you are now fully equipped with all the knowledge to make the most powerful weapon in the game. Congrats! As mentioned during the video, if you need to know how to easily farm the resources for the Ender Upgrade Orbs, check out my Drigme farm guide in the bottom left. And with that, I wish you all an amazing day.